you were called outside and said, you know, we see that your statistics are dropping. And so uh, you've got uh, this much time, but we're going to put you back on the boot camp. And I, it was like that, you know, it's like anything but that. It was kind of like, so, so I felt, I realized terror is the right, right word. I was wow. terrified. I was, in ter I was terrified during this whole experience because anything else that had happened to me in the Sea Org, I, could, I had some understanding of it. There was something I could refer to. I could see how it was going to turn out. I knew what was going to happen. This, I had no knowledge. I didn't had no, nothing to compare it to. And I was terrified. Couldn't see your children. Right. Even if they were five or seven years old. Right. Not allowed to visit for even an hour. So I, I took them with me, and I fled to a motel nearby, actually, and I was fortunate that nobody found me. Mm. And I was New Year's Day, and I remember sitting out by the pool with my kids, and I just sat back and I said, boy, am I happy. That was your first yeah. exit. Yes. But it was over sleep deprivation. Mainly, yes. Mm -hmm. What made you go back? Well, I was still of the mindset that this was a good organization and we were helping people and I wanted to that's what I wanted to do I had signed a billion year contract so even though I blew I, I down deep I said I knew I would go back so mm -hmm. I went back after two weeks mm -hmm. and how much longer did you stay this time before you fled until uh, 2008 whoa I expected her to call me and tell me what happened. She's never called me again. Never. Your daughter disconnected. She disconnected and her three children. Oh, I feel, she had a baby. She had a baby. You know how I found about it? How, how, <laughs> I can't even talk. How I found out about it? Through Facebook. That's how I found out about my latest grandchild.